Hello, my name is Tracy Tutty. I'm a medical herbalist and a stress therapist. And I really believe that deep down we all know what we need to heal ourselves. Let me tell you a story about something that happened to me last year. August last year, I was walking through Alexandra Palace, just on a little grassy bank, and I slipped. My foot slipped and I fell backwards, and I put my hands out to break my fall. Unfortunately, I broke my arm. And what I later discovered is when you fall backwards, you're supposed to tuck your head in and roll, not put your hands out. Now, I was very lucky, because on that day, everything I needed was in place. So there was an event on Alexandra Palace that day which meant that there was security and there was a paramedic on site. So I was able to go to the paramedic who had a look at my arm and said, oh yes, that's definitely a broken arm. He called the ambulance and off I went to hospital with my husband who was with me at the time. When I was at the hospital, there was the most wonderful special nurse who I am eternally grateful for, who managed to manipulate my arm because it was... At, a, at an odd angle, having been broken, and he manipulated it so well, just through touch and intuition, that it was almost perfectly in alignment. The doctor said that it was one degree out. Um, so I was very, very fortunate. I went home, and I, um, I was in a temporary cast at the time, and um, I was sitting on the couch, feeling very sorry for myself at the time, I was in a lot of pain. Um, and I decided that I needed to take some herbs because I'm a herbalist. Um, so I made myself up a mix which was full of painkillers and anti-inflammatories and relaxing herbs and that sort of thing. And as my needs moved on throughout the time of my healing, my prescription changed as well. So that in the mix I would have different combinations of herbs and different sorts of herbs. When I was getting the proper cast on, because they put a temporary cast on just to see how, how it went because it, the bone was manipulated, when they put the proper cast on, I can remember saying to the plasterer, because it was August, so it was very hot, I can remember saying, but, but what do I do if it gets itchy? And he said to me, all you need to do is just imagine that you can scratch your arm and scratch your arm. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. I tried it and it really worked and that got me thinking. Now when they took the cast off, the temporary cast, I was really shocked because there was this big bruise on the back where, the, where my arm had broken. And without thinking, I apologised to my arm. I was like, oh, poor arm, I'm really sorry I've done this to you. What I discovered was part of my healing process was that I really needed to be part of this healing journey. I needed to be able to connect with my arm. So as well as taking herbs, I would rub it better. I would talk to it. I would praise it and tell it how well it's doing with all this healing and that sort of thing. And it really helped me to feel like I was part of that healing journey. Now, it wasn't all plain sailing because um, the doctor at the fracture clinic who saw me was very good. Um, but for him it was another arm that he was dealing with, but for me it was my arm that was broken. So he, he sort of took it that, oh, this is a patient that needs a lot of reassurance, when actually what I needed was to be involved in my healing journey. So I would ask a lot of questions, I would ask to see the x-rays, because I wanted to see how well my arm was doing. And of course all through this time I was adjusting my herbal prescription as I went along, putting in more mineral rich herbs and that sort of thing and continuing to talk to my arm. I remember at the end, um, after the cast had come off, I saw the consultant for a further three months because the break had been quite bad. And he said to me, at the end of it, when he was discharging me, he says, do you know, he said, this is a much better outcome than we would normally have expected. And I was really pleased about that. And I really do feel, you know, that part of that was my, my involvement with that healing journey combined with the, you know, the advice that the expert gave me. Uh, when I went to the hand clinic for physiotherapy, I did all the exercises. And so I did everything I could to facilitate that healing process. And I felt part of that process. The other day, somebody said to me, Tracy, what, what, what's your vision for the work that you do? Why is it that you're so passionate about helping people to make their own herbal remedies and to learn about the plants? And I said, you know, imagine if... When you woke up in the morning, if you were feeling a bit poorly, so you had a sore throat or something like that, imagine if you were able to go out into your garden and, and just pick the combination of herbs that you needed at that point in time to help your body to heal itself. Or imagine if you could go into your cupboard or your fridge and you could put together all those things that you needed so that you could feel better. Or 
Imagine if you had something a little more serious where you needed some professional support. If you were able to assemble around you a care team that involved doctors and consultants and osteopaths and herbalists and nutritionists, a whole care team who were there to advise you because they were experts in their particular field. And then with their help and support, you could choose the healing journey that worked for you. Imagine if we could do that. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It's something that I'm very passionate about, and if it's something that really speaks to you, I'd love to help you become part of that journey. I've written an e-book, um, it's free, and it's called How to Make Your Own Natural Beauty Products on a Budget. And the reason I wrote this e-book is because, firstly, I love making creams and ointments and things like that. And I really believe that if you're going to put something on your skin, you might as well put something on that's helpful. For example, when the cast came off my arm, I was rubbing comfrey cream into it and putting a few other helpful things in there to help with the healing process. The great thing about making your own creams and ointments is you know exactly what's gone into it. And also, depending on the ingredients you use, you can make it for a fraction of the price of buying it. So if that's something that you'd like to do, then please sign up over here. It's on the right hand side of this page. Now, I'm a healer and a herbalist, so, you know, for me, integrity and trust are something that's really important to me. It's something I value very dearly. So I also want to take this opportunity to assure you that I'm only going to be sharing information with you on herbal recipes that I love or how to make a particular herbal remedy. I'm not going to share your email with anybody else. Like I said, you know, I have this belief that we each know what we need to heal ourselves. Sometimes we need to gather a little more information or a little education to make that informed choice. But deep down, I really do believe that we know. I know you're really busy and I know your time is precious. So I really want to thank you for taking the opportunity to listen to me today. And I really hope that whatever it is that you want to do with plants, that you'll be able to find the information you need to deliver that. Thanks for listening.